Hi guys, welcome. A question of a user about LeftWM. And as you know by now, I have been using LeftWM uh, for weeks on my ISO builder. And any information that you require is always going to be in arclinksd.com with all the phases and all the desktops you can learn from. And at some point in time, maybe, all right, maybe, you go for the Arch Linux installation and maybe later even create your own ISO. So the topic should be found in left of you, right? It's about the keys, the keys and how can I change the keys, the key bindings, right? The how to start Firefox VLC or change it, right? How to change the theme, icons and cursor, how to change the theme. And here, where's the configuration of left of them? So pretty sure something in here is gonna be about, well, first of all, I see lots of interesting um, well, switches or, or variables you can use in Compton, but also, well, Compton, eh, the old name is Compton, we should say Pycom now. But there will be more information in here in this video, but not a bad idea to make a video just about key bindings. I always urge you to think out of the box. For now, I want you to think out of left of the M. Right, sometimes they even go further, right? Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Linux. In essence, it is like that as well now. But think about all the tiling with our managers we have, maybe eight or so, I haven't counted them yet. But left WM is no different than awesome, no different than BSP WM, no different than i3. They all have somewhere a configuration, right? Cleaning up as we speak. And um, that means somewhere on your machine there is a config. The xmonad is just here, x dot xmonad. BSPWM is here, leftwm is in here, i3 is in here, openbox is in here. Read everything in that folder. Then you get all the answers you want. So in this case, leftwm, and we call this with a smile on our face, the sexy hotkey demon or the simple x hotkey demon, right? It's an application that we install, pseudo pacman minus s, the sexy hotkey demon. If we install this thing and make sure that it boots, it's gonna read a file from somewhere. That's the path, that's the directory, that's the file. Any of these key bindings can be changed, All right? So if I were you, right? And scale is a thing you use, maybe, maybe you make your own this will never be oops something went wrong there this will never be overwritten if you rename it to i should point that out to the guys of uh, left OEM. they have released an an uh, version just this morning i guess yeah just this morning so that's something that should be fixed so you make your own file and change anything you like. So super F2 is not going to be Atom, it's going to be code. And Vivaldi stable, yeah, it's great, but I like Chromium better. And you keep on changing these things. Inkscape is not uh, super F3, so super is always Windows key. Super F3, so change anything you like, right? And each time there is a scale, or if you do a scale, I say, okay, fine, no problem. Control Z, escape, and Control C first. And, or you do it manually, or you make a nice script that says, copy this one over to that one. But maybe actually be much smarter to compare, because why did we create a new left WM? Because we've added maybe something new. Yeah, maybe we've added something that's, that's just awesome and you're missing out if you just copy paste. So doing a melt actually re-enables re or, or triggers your memory again. That's my key bindings. Th those are the changes I made. And then maybe there's a, a line somewhere in here that we say we've changed this and that. So that's one part of the key bindings, our sexy hotkey team. The other bit is somewhere in the code. Where are key bindings? Take a look. This one and this one, 
Let's see, compare, they're the same. So basically, I have an uncertainty key board, you know that, and I'm actually using the QWERTY keyboard at the moment. No problems, there's only one thing I can't do. That's press Super 3. I can't go to sup with Super 3 to Workspace 3. That's, that's one of the things and move an application to another desktop. That's my limit. So that's why we have an Azerti and a QWERTY. So all I do here in the script is to Azerti, nice little script that says overwrite this one to that one. That's it. But let's now have a look what's in here. Again, F12. F12, what's that? F12. You want to change this to Yakuake or something, right? Drop down terminals. Guake is an option. Yakuake is an option. Uh, here that it says um, that's all hashtagged out. Watch out. Plain text. Pearl. Anything that's gray is not used. Anything with color is used. So if you want to kill a conky, it's going to be super C. So it's all options. The super D, maybe you like another key. For instance, in DWM, there is a super P that launches the D menu. Or maybe you want both, right? Maybe. What an idea. Maybe you want both because you're always on DWM and suddenly Ah, you're switching and you can't remember the D. Et voila, now we have a Super Shift P. Only thing I need to do is reboot, re-log out, restart. That's always an, an, a thing you need to do. The mod key, Article Linux Super X, Super X. Why not Super L? Well, make sure you don't have anything double. That's the only thing I can say. Control C, Control uh, find okay once this combination there is already a super l and it's going to focus the workspace next ah if that's no problem if you want to get rid of that that's fine right it's entirely up to you because i never use that button and it's not for me voila then super l can become arclix logout and that's how you go through the list. You read the list. That's what we do. We read whatever comes from left WM. We change a few of these key bindings to say, okay, control T needs to work and super shift return needs to work. Control alt enter needs to work. The, the main things, right? That we have a terminal and then we have a file manager. That's the most important, the minimal thing to be able to work with, with any tiling with a manager. Give me a terminal give me a file manager give me an editor and i have another one melt and that's it i'm happy from then on i can develop uh, efficiently that's a workflow thing right so voila again this is just not about left wm it is about any of the tiling window managers it's all in the same place you have to look at in the sexy hotkey daemon file and somewhere inside the configuration. In i3, it's in the config file, bspwm, and there's another file. They're all here, the desktops, they're all here, and each one of them has a specific kind of thing. This morning, maybe you've seen that there is a new, a new update that came in. Now we have a control super print screen. And we have, if we have flame shot, then we have flame shot GUI that pops up. So you can make so many key bindings and it's so much fun. Our plasma is filled with it. Um, so each and every desktop has some kind of way to make keyboard shortcuts and that's the fun. So go change them, keep backups. Compare is my best tip. Copy paste or, co or can be done. But comparing with melt is I think more interesting you don't have to do that daily. You can do it once a month and have a look what new key bindings have we added, etc. All right, I hope everything is clear. It's gonna go on articlingsd.com on left WM. That's where it was recorded on. Again, it applies to all tiling winner managers. All right, cheers.